Hello, I'm Anthony Fish, and this is a tutorial on how to play as Moloch in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. You're going to need three things for this. You're going to need your emulator of choice open. I'm emulating this on PS2, so I'm using PCSX2 to do it. You're also going to need a hacking program of some kind. I'm using Art Money. You can also use Cheat Engine and a few others. I just find Art Money a bit better, personally. I think it's a bit more generally user-friendly, so it's the one I tend to use for my videos and for these videos in general. You're also going to need a set of character values. I will put these in the description of this video, so don't worry about those. I would also advise, before you watch this, if you haven't already, do go back and watch the very first video I did on the basics of boss hacking. It'll just help you to understand this process a little bit better, I think. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance is a very easy hack at the end of the day, as long as you have the character values anyway. I'll say this to the MK games, I don't know how the character values work, as in, in general. They seem to be varied and they seem to change entirely from game to game with no real rhyme or reason, which we'll see more so when I do my video on Mortal Kombat Deception. This however is a very easy hack if you know the character values innately, so let's just pick a character to start with here. See, let's go with Kung Lao, I think. And Kung Lao's value is. What is it? It's three. So initially, what you want to do is you want to search for the first value. If you're doing this on the modern version of Art Money, make sure you're selecting your address range as all. It won't work otherwise for some reason. It's very weird. So if the first value you search for, you, you search it, and then after that you do filtering to narrow down the value. So for our initial search, we'll do three because we've selected Kung Lao. Cool, and then you just want to go back to the player selection menu. I would recommend doing this in practice. It just means you can switch between the characters easily, and then as soon as you have selected Moloch, it means that you'll be able to test him out before using him in other modes. Then you select another character to do filtering with. Is a good choice for that. Really aren't that many. Um, let's go with Lee May, I think. He's got cheese four. I have these in hexadecimal format as opposed to regular format, which, yeah, I don't usually recommend. It's just a bit easier to know what you're doing if you have them in uh, entirely decimal format. Right, so Lee May is four. So I'll hack for four in that case. Filter for four. Then go back to the menu. Let's see. Let's go for Scorpion. I usually try to avoid um, using value zero zero just because it gives you a lot of it gives you a lot more values than you would do otherwise, just because so many values in the addresses of the game, in the game's coding, are usually zero by default. It's quite a common value. Scorpion is zero, so let's filter for zero. And let's do another filter again. Sometimes it's good to filter multiple times just because it means that you'll narrow it down just that bit more, and it means you don't have to select quite as many characters to try and find the character address. Let's see, then we'll go back to Kung Lao again, I think. His address is three, so I'll filter for three again. It will take multiple tries. The more characters you use, the better it will be. But for some reason, this game, as I said before, the character values, a lot of the ones up front are for hidden characters for some reason. Maybe they wanted to have certain characters, they made them first, and then they decided later they were going to be hidden, others wouldn't be. I'm not sure. Again, with these games, the values just don't really make any sense, but that's how it is in this case. Filter for two. That's very good. Two, of course, is Shang Tsung's value, so that's why I'm doing that. Alright. Then let's go back again and I'll select Li Mei one last time. We'll see how many of those values still turn out to be uh, four in that case. They're all four. Um, I mentioned this in previous videos as well, but for some reason in 3D fighting games, 
sometimes you have a lot of values that just handle the character in the game. I think it's something to do with a mixture of moveset, character models, character parameters, something like that. But for some reason you'll end up with quite a few, though only a few actually control the character address itself. Not really sure why that is, it's just how it tends to work in 3D fighting games. Right, so we know all of those correspond to the character address. What I recommend when you have a whole bunch of them like this, any more than 10, is take about 5, apply the character value you want to get, and then freeze those in place, test them out. If they don't work, then move on to the next 5 instead. There are exceptions to that, but I'll get to those videos when I get to those videos. So Moloch's value, as you can see here, is 8. So we're going to put in the value 8 into... Let's say five of these I said to start off with. And then I'm going to highlight all those and then freeze them in place. And that will force the game to load the value that we want to load, which of course in this case is the one for Moloch. And yeah, there's Moloch. Yep, there he is. Simple as that, really. And yeah, as I said, when you know the values, incredibly simple to do that, incredibly easy. You could always you you, you could also use it, what I mean to say, for any other character who's hidden as well. Now if you're playing this on an emulator, of course you can just download a save. But if you didn't want to do that, or I don't know, if you didn't want to do anything like that for whatever reason. You could then just hack this instead if you wanted to select someone else. So let's see, who's hidden? Um, Mitaro, so if I put in 11. And then select anyone again, I'll just select Scorpion here. Oh yeah, no, sorry, I have it in hex decimal format, don't I? So yeah, that would have been Frost, because 0B translates to 11 when it's in regular decimal format. But as you can see, that's how it works. It's as simple as that, it's as easy as that. It's really nothing more to it. The other games in the series, especially the later games like MK9, MK10, and 11, they're a bit more complex. I've usually relied on mod for those, mods for those, but I will try and eventually do videos on those as well. Also do one on Deception, it's very, very similar to this, as long as you have the character values, but I'll do a tutorial on that regardless, just to show people how it's done. Any questions, any sort of other requests or recommendations or anything of that sort, feel free to leave a comment below or really on any of my three channels. Hope this helps you out, and as always, thank you very much for watching.